I saw it as groundbreaking, yes. I saw the concept of a nighttime soap would be groundbreaking. Uh, I didn't think we could do two episodes a week, but we worked out a system. We had two directors, Walter Doniger, Ted Post. Uh, then when we went to three a week, we had to get in certain other directors. Um, it turned out to be after a, long, a shakedown period, uh, it turned out to be quite simple. But this, this depended upon my working out a new system. I started with three writers. And, uh, and then I worked in, had a, a sort of super writer involved who... Uh, we won't talk about him because he's died. He's dead now. And um, me, in, in, in a short time, we'd worked out the system, system whereby we had a story group and then about four or five writers, and that was it. Did you conceive of it as a soap opera at night, a multiple, multiple episode, I mean, as opposed to just a... I, I think I did. I think I did. And... I'm sure I could have an argument with that. But what was the difference, if any, between the daytime serials, the day soap operas, and Peyton Place, right at night? Were there differences? Um, well, I, I didn't watch any daytime, so it was not not devoted to them. So I figured I was doing something new. And it may have been new. Uh, I know that since then, or in the meantime, the daytime shows have evolved. And uh, also, you know, we had a couple of um, very successful nighttime shows following this. So, uh, I, I looked upon Peyton Place as I do everything as a step I was taking. Well, at the time, it was thought that the subject matter was quite controversial. I didn't, I didn't think so, but I, I suppose, you know, we had, it, 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 it gave the impression of being more controversial than it was. But, uh, how, how do you mean that? Uh, well, Allison was a virgin. We had uh, Betty Parker, I think, or Palmer in there. She was not a virgin. We had... Uh, it, it, Everything was built on sex. But most of the sex was not sex. It was just pseudo-sex. And uh, never, of course, do we show anything of a woman and a man in bed together. And yet, it was considered sexy because Peyton Place, the novel, was considered sexy. If, if you read the novel now, you'll laugh at it. And I can only remember one, one thing in the novel where she wrote that someone had iron-hard nipples. <laughs> yeah. So on television, it was only implied or talked about? It was implied implied, talked about. But everything, everyone was expecting the worst because uh, the implications were so, left us so vulnerable in a way. <laughs>